Hello everyone, I'm Sarah Hidano from KDDR Research in Japan. Today I'd like to talk about exposing private user behaviors of collaborative filtering via modern measure techniques. This is a joint work with Takao Murakami, Shuichi Katsumata, Shinsa Kiyomoto, and Goichiro Hanaoka from KDDR Research and AIST. To begin with, I will give an outline of our research. We focus on recommender systems. As you know, recommender systems has become an absolutely essential component of EC sites. A recommender system suggests a product that meets a user's preference based on uh, its historical behavior, such as ratings and purchases. As recommender systems play an increasing role on the web, understanding privacy risks has become a compelling research topic. The current state-of-the-art inference attack on user behavior, such as ratings and purchases for recommender system is by Calandrino et al. They showed if an adversary obtained moderate amount of public user behavior before some time t, she can infer private user behavior after time t. However, the attack that infers private user behavior before the time t remains open. Therefore, we propose the first inference attack that reveals past private user behavior. Specifically, we propose the first modern invasion attack against recommended systems in a novel way. Our modern invasion attack allows an adversary to infer a user's past private behavior by observing items recommended to the user. Our modern invasion attack is based on data poisoning attack. Namely, the adversary first adds multiple malicious user accounts to a target recommender system. Data poisoning is performed to change the system's recommendation model to a target model. In order to be able to infer past private user behavior, we define the target model in such a way that some non-sensitive decoy items chosen by the adversary will be recommended to a user who buys or highly rates a particular sensitive item. Then the adversary gets his uh, public output of a recommender system. Due to the widespread of social networks and its increasing role in recommender systems, it has become common for users to share their personal non-sensitive recommendations through our social networks. Finally, the adversary performs model inversion. When the decoy items are recommended to the user by the recommender system, the adversary will be able to infer that the user had bought or highly rated the sensitive item with high probability. In this presentation, I will show evidence that uh, our theoretical attack works as intended through our experiments with two real-world datasets. Let's move on to talking about existing studies related to our inference attack. First, I will explain our target recommender system. Most recommender systems rely on collaborative filtering CF which is a method to analyze patterns of users' historical behavior. In our research, we especially focus on factorization-based CF system as a target recommender system. The factorization-based CF system predicts our observed entries in the rating matrix by using matrix factorization and recommends items to each user based on estimated entries. Now, this is the instance of rating matrix. Each entry represents the rating of an item by the user. In the initial training phase, the rating matrix is factorized by user profile U and the item profile B. The observed entries are predicted by multiplying the user profile and the item profile. As a result, a prediction M hat of the rating matrix is generated. In the recommendation phase, the system recommends new items, each user is potentially interesting based on the prediction M hat. One of the most natural recommendation methods is to recommend the top L items with high predicted ratings among our observed items in the prediction M hat. In addition, it's common for a practical recommender systems to update their internal systems when new users and or items are added or when users make new ratings on items. So we assume that the system updates the internal model such as the user profile U and the item profile B on the on the regular basis. Next, I will explain model invasion attacks for prediction systems. 
The modern imaging attacks are type of attack aiming to expose sensitive information that was used as input to a model. In the text, the adversary is provided the output of the model or the true level corresponding to the feature of a target user. Then the adversary infers the sensitive attributes of the features of the target user by using the input and output of the model. In the previous work, our team proposed a new type of model inversion text which targets dynamic prediction systems. In the text, adversary modified the system's model by data poisoning in order to make the inference practical. Specifically, the adversary first injects carefully crafted malicious data into the undynamic model so that the current model will be updated to a target model. As a result, the adversary can infer sensitive information using the input by only observing the output of the target model. We follow this approach. Namely, in our inference attack for recommended systems, the adversary modified the recommendation model with fake ratings in such a way that she will be able to infer past private user behavior. Finally, I will explain existing poison attacks for factorization based on CEM. In the attacks, the adversary creates malicious user accounts and then gives a rating to the system according to an intended purpose. If the malicious rating matrix is added to a rating matrix, the prediction of the rating matrix changes from the M hat to an M hat asterisk. As a result, recommended items also change. Lee et al. proposed a method to optimize the malicious rating matrix for the adversary's purpose. Specifically, they designed utility functions to measure the effectiveness of malicious rating matrix. They especially proposed two utility functions to maximize a recommendation error and to boost or reduce the popularity of specific items. In our research, we define a specific utility function for casting our model inversion attack as an optimi optimization problem. Well, let's move on to talking about our proposal method. As I mentioned before, the goal of our attack is to link the sensitive items with some adversarially chosen decoy items. The sensitive item is kind of adult movies and medical items. The decoy items should be seemingly innocuous for users, such as non-erotic novels and commodities. One way to do so is to randomly choose decoy items from the set of non-sensitive items, other than sensitive items. As with the attack of Lee et al., the adversary performs data poisoning by creating malicious user accounts and providing ratings for items. However, the malicious rating matrix should be designed so that sensitive items will be linked with decoy items. I will explain how to compute the malicious rating matrix later. After the data poisoning, the system will update the model and recommend a new list of items to each user. Since after poisoning, there is a high similarity between sensitive items and decoy items. The recommended items should include one or more decoy items with high probability for those who provided a high rating for a sensitive item. The adversary creates a list of users who provided a high rating for a sensitive item. We call this list a sensitive user list. Specifically, the adversary adds user if her recommended item includes L dash or more, more decoy items. L dash is a predetermined threshold. When the threshold L dash is large, the adversary can decide with very high confidence that users in the sensitive user list provided high rating for a sensitive item. A natural way to define a utility function would be to take as input the rating matrix. Although this is the approach taken by Lee et al., this is unacceptable for our setting. The reason is that the adversary having full knowledge of the training data is equivalent to the adversary having full knowledge of all the user's past behaviors. So we propose a utility function that only takes as input an item profile. 
Since each row of the predicted rating matrix is a linear combination of the item profile, the item profile can be used as an approximation of the rating matrix. In practice, there are multiple ways to collect the item profile. In the simplest case, since the item profile does not apparently contain user-sensitive information, the system may share it with the users or release it publicly. It has also become standard practice for recommended systems to publish item similarity lists so the adversary can approximate an item by item matrix. The item profile can be estimated from such information. The adversary can also estimate the item profile from some partial information on the rating matrix. We actually conducted experiments where the adversary estimated an item profile using some partial information on the rating matrix in order to validate this assumption. I will explain um, the results later in the part of experimental evaluation. Therefore, the assumption that the adversary has an item profile is much weaker and more practical compared to having full knowledge of the rating matrix. We finally defined it, the UTT function for our modeling virtual attack as this function taken as input item profiles before and after data pointing. The accuracy of our modeling virtual attack increases with a decrease in the first and second terms. The first term is required to increase similarity between sensitive items and decoy items. The second term is required to maintain high ratings for sensitive items unchanged. The third term is included to make the attack less detectable. When this is a small, the item profile is not changed much by data poisoning. So as the third term decreases, the malicious users injected by our attack will become less detectable. However, since this has the opposite effect from the first two terms, we included a hyperparameter mu to control the trade-off between the accuracy of our modeling version attack and the difficulty of detection. The optimization problem for our modeling version attack is to solve the opt optimal malicious rating matrix that minimizes this utility function. But this optimization problem is not non-convex and cannot be solved efficiently. So we can find an approximate solution by using the projected gradient descent method. Please see the paper for more information on how to solve the problem. Finally, I will talk about experimental evaluation to validate the effectiveness of our modeling virtual attack. In our experiments, we consider two types of recommender systems using factorization-based collaborative filtering. One is a point of interest recommender system, and the other is a movie recommender system. The POI recommender system presents a visited location that the user would be concerned with from locations the user visited in the past. We implemented this system with the four square global scale check in the dataset. On the other hand, the movie recommender system proposes the unseen movies that the target user would prefer based on pass rating on the watched movies. We implemented this system with the movie length 20 million dataset. We conducted three types of experiments. Firstly, we evaluated the performance of our model invasion attack when any attack detector was not used. Secondly, we evaluated the resilience of our attack to anomaly detection. If the behavior of malicious user is totally different from that of normal users, it would be easy to detect them using a normal detection technique. However, our modern inversion attack can avoid such detection by increasing the value of hyperparameter hyper mu. In this experiment, I will show our modern inversion attack can still be effective under a standard detector of malicious users. Finally, we evaluated the performance of our attack when the adversary did not have knowledge of item profile. Uh, in this presentation, since the results for, uh, for both systems indicate a similar tendency, I will show only the uh, results on the uh, pure recommended system. Uh, 
Uh, I will first specify the settings for the first experiment. We especially use check-in data at various venues located in Manhattan. The numbers of users and items were 1,720 and 1,983 respectively. We converted check-ins for each user to binary ratings. Namely, the value 1 means that the user has visited the venue one or more times. And the uh, value 0 means that the user has not visited the venue. The number of items recommended to each user was 5. As for our model invasion attack, we assume the scenario where an adversary attempts to disclose a hospital the user has visited in the past. We randomly selected three decoy items from venues other than hospitals. With that poisoning rate alpha, which is our ratio of malicious users to real users, to five values from 0.01 to 0.05. We set a threshold L dash to determine whether a user rated sensitive item to L2, uh, 1, 2, or 3. As I mentioned in the previous slide, we performed our model invasion attack without no consideration for attack detection in the first experiment. Namely, we set um, the hyperparameter mu in our utility function to zero. As metrics for the attack performance, we used precision and recall. And so uh, precision indicates the ratio of users who have visited the target hospital among users to whom a dash or more decoy items are recommended. The recall indicates the ratio of users to whom uh, a dash or more decoy items are recommended among users who have visited the target hospital. Now, this graph shows experimental results. The horizontal axis shows the poisoning rate, whereas the vertical axis shows the precision over recall. You can see from uh, this graph that our inference attack is a realistic and possible threat for actual recommended systems. For instance, when poisoning rate alpha was 0.05, and the threshold L dash was 3, we achieved 100% precision and 50% recall. This means that the battery successfully revealed a half of the users who had visited hospital with 100 accuracy. We can also see both the precision and recall of our attack increases with an increase in the number of malicious users. In addition, there is a trade off between the precision and the recall, which can be controlled by changing the threshold L dash. This means that the battery can increase her precision at the cost of recall by increasing the threshold L dash. In the second experiment, we evaluated the resilience of our attack to anomaly detection by changing the parameter mu. Specifically, we considered an anomaly detector using the A1 class SVM. It's well known that one class SVM has strong detection power for various use cases of outlier detection. We fix the poisoning rate to 0.05 and set parameter mu to 1, 5, 10, 50, or 100. As a metric that legit sense to attack detection, we use the um, detection rate, which is the ratio of detected malicious users to all malicious users. Um, these graphs show experimental results. You can see that the resistance to attack detection is improved by increasing the value of mu. You can also see that the attack performance, such as precision and recall, decreased with an increase in mu. Uh, this means that uh, there is a trade-off between the attack performance and resistance to attack detection. Nevertheless, so our modeling version attack was still effective even with an increase in mu. For instance, when mu was 10, our model invasion attack achieved approximately 70% 70, 70 precision and 23% recall. So we can say that adversary can disclose past private user behavior while avoiding attack detection. Well, finally, I will show that our, our model invasion attack is effective even using an approximate item profile B. In this experiment, we assume that the adversary could observe all the ratings from a part of users. We set the ratio beta of available users to 0, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, or 0 0.8, and approximated the item profile using a partial rating matrix. 
this set me to 0 and the poisoning rate to 0.03 or 0.05 as the special error dash to 1 or 2. We can see from this graph that both the precision and the recoil increase with an increase in beta. So we can say that our modeling version of DAC is effective even when the adversary cannot obtain the complete item profile. In conclusion, we propose the first inference attack that reveals past prior to the behavior in factorization-based collaborative filtering systems. Our inference attack is based on model inversion techniques and leverages data poisoning in a novel way. We also did demonstrated that our attack is a realistic and possible threat with two real recommender systems. Uh, that was my presentation. Thank you very much for your attention.